Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I am over the moon excited to share with you guys some DIY Dollar Tree all new fall decor crafts. In fact, this is episode one in my huge I Love Fall series. I love to share with you guys how you can make your home's boutique gorgeous on a budget. Now, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's totally free. Punch the bell and click all. That will update you every single time I post a new video. I post several DIY videos a week on YouTube as well as several a day over on my Livia's Romantic Home Facebook page. So follow me and all these places. Let's get totally inspired to make our homes amazing, boutique, gorgeous, on a budget. I'm so, so, so excited to share this, you, this with you guys. Um, and so without further ado, let's go ahead and plug in those glue guns, get out your glitter and paint, and let's get to crafty. Okay, so for this fall season, we're going to create a super adorable floral plunger tree. Okay, so we're going to take two little stems. These are from Hobby Lobby and some Dollar Tree goodies. You want to pop your floral stems on one side, put in some beautiful Dollar Tree feathers, and look, you guys, these feathers are going to make your decorations so high end, and then put a sweet little decoration on the other side. So I used two floral stems from Hobby Lobby, a couple of Dollar Tree feathers, and my Dollar Tree plunger. You guys know I love to do the plunger trees and I usually do leaves for um, fall but hey I decided to get a little bit high end and we're going to make a beautiful floral plunger tree. Now I took four zip ties and really zip tied those florals onto the top of this. Sometimes you can use hot glue to secure them and then add in the zip ties but for this one I wanted did not want to damage the floral stems with any hot glue because they're a little bit nicer ones. I did get them 50% off at um, Hobby Lobby and then take a cute little Dollar Tree gather bucket. You guys have to grab these. So cute. Plunge it down into your um, bucket and then add in some stones. I just grabbed some rocks. I have rocks in my front yard. So I put them down into my little plunger tree and boom, it is nice and secure. Now Dollar Tree also carries rocks if you need rocks. I'm going to take some Dollar Tree um, orange wired ribbon and wrap it around the base of my plunger tree. You can also use a burlap ribbon. Looks really nice. And Dollar Tree does carry some burlap ribbon. Anything to kind of secure and cover those zip ties. You really don't want those exposed. And you might want to give your tree a little bit of a tree stance. I don't know that most trees are orange, but hey, <laughs> it is a fall plunger tree. Okay, grab some Dollar Tree Excelsior moss, pop it into the base of your planter. And then I did add some Dollar Tree fall leaves. Now I'm going to measure a bow. So you measure from your hand to your elbow, loop the ribbon over on itself. This is some cute little fall ribbon with a little green truck on it. Roll it over to where there's um, three sides to each side or six turns and then trim that off. Now that would be super cute as is, but I decided to go super extra, which you guys know I love my bows and I cannot lie. Um, I'm going to add some Buffalo Jack plaid ribbon to this. Just loop it over on itself and layer on top of your original bow. But look, you guys can really truly use any bows. Will totally work. Pinch it in the center and zip tie it off. And then you guys have a fun and fabulous bow on a total budget. Okay, so then we're going to add that to the base of our tree. You can add it to the base of your tree, underneath your tree, wherever it floats your boat. Make sure you fluffy out those ribbons. They're going to be super gorgeous and ready for you. This is how I did that. Okay, and the other thing is, you guys, I just love to create these in any size, shape. I feel like this is something you would see in more of a boutique or a floral store and we're doing this on such a budget. Okay, so tie it off with the zip tie and then add some ribbon over that zip tie. Give it some curly cues, some fluffy dev, and you guys have this fabulous little creation. Now, wouldn't this be beautiful for an entryway table or a dining room or for your neighbor to fancy up her home next to her mantle? I just love these. I think they're super fun. I added some Dollar Tree pumpkins and bam, there you guys have that. Pop in some little Dollar Tree signs and some cute little faux pumpkins and you guys have fun and fabulous decor piece on a total budget. For this Dollar Tree DIY, I want to show you guys how to make a super adorable 
pumpkin topiary using a Dollar Tree broom handle and a couple of those little Dollar Tree signs. Okay, so I'm taking this broom handle and I measured the depth of that little um, container. I got it 90% off at Michael's and it's super rustic and chic. Now I'm going to take these Dollar Tree little pumpkin signs and I'm using thankful, grateful, and blessed. I removed the little raffia at the top and then I'm hot gluing the pumpkins together. You want to make sure to hot glue the pumpkins overlapping each other, flip them over, and then you can use a couple of zip ties. Run the zip tie underneath the pumpkin stem, so don't glue those pumpkin stems. Just glue the base of the pumpkin to the sign and then zip tie them to the Dollar Tree broom handle. And you can see that I marked off with a piece of tape how deep that little um, planter was to be able to put these in. So this is something you guys could possibly use outside, inside, next to your fireplace. We have thankful, grateful, and blessed. Now, if you want to take it another step, which you guys know I love to make bows, grab some of that Dollar Tree ribbon. They're actually carrying some really beautiful ribbon this season. I can't wait to do a haul for you guys, but I'm using this pumpkin ribbon. I just took the ribbon, looped it over on itself, and then I'm trimming it off. And I'm going to do a couple of layers of different bows here. These pumpkins aren't super large, so I don't want to go too totally crazy with the bow, but I do want to give it some dimension and depth. So I'm using first the Dollar Tree pumpkin ribbon and then this little Dollar Tree orange ribbon. And again, they're making some really beautiful ribbon. I was so surprised and so shocked with how great the Dollar Tree fall goodies were. If you have not been out to your Dollar Tree, definitely check them out. I guess that 25 cents is kicking it up a notch but anyway so go ahead and stack those ribbons now I had the orange ribbon and then I had the pumpkin ribbon I really wanted to stack the pumpkin ribbon on top of the orange ribbon so it didn't get swallowed and then I wanted to add some buffalo check plaid to the top of that I feel like if you want to do buffalo check plaid fall is definitely the season to go all out on your buffalo check plaid even if you don't do like super farmhouse i think it looks super chic and fun now you're going to take everything zip tie it all together and then fluffy out those ribbons or bows and then you can hot glue it to the top of your cute little pumpkin topiary which is what i did now you're going to take and press this down really nice and then the little raffia that you removed from the top originally of your Dollar Tree sign, just pop it in there. Now I'm gonna take this, put this in to this cute little galvanized planter. Again, this is from Michael, so here's our planter. Pop it down inside of here with that little broomstick in your pumpkins. Now don't, or just tell me you guys, this does not look a little bit more high end like something you would see in a boutique. I'm just stuffing some bags down in here. You could always put like some floral foam or whatnot, but the bags work great. And then I'm going to secure it with two floral stems from Hobby Lobby. Grab these when they're half off. Super great. I'm just going to push them down. I don't want them to cover my blessed sign. And I'm going to add some little Dollar Tree faux pumpkins. They're those cute little velvet pumpkins. They came out last season. I don't really think I saw them yet this season, but I also didn't check my florals. Now here is how it turns turned out. Oh my goodness, this is a huge sign, probably almost four foot, and it is so fun and fabulous. And if you don't have a little metal planter, you guys can always go to Dollar General or even Dollar Tree has some really fun little planters still out. Check it out, you guys. This is super high end, fun and fabulous on a total budget. I hope you guys are loving it and are able to recreate it as well. For this Dollar Tree DIY, I want to show you guys how to make a super adorable Dollar Tree centerpiece. This is also for a great entryway table is where I put mine. You're going to take three of the Dollar Tree crates, glue them together. These are in the little harvest section and then add one of those Dollar Tree longer signs. I'm using a harvest side for one side. So when it comes to be more like Thanksgiving time, I'm going to add it for that side. But then for fall, I'm going to put pumpkin spice is a life. These are so great, all from Dollar Tree. Hot glue those to either side. And I think they even had some more 
I'm not totally for sure. Now, grab one of those Dollar Tree football and pumpkin signs and just detach the pumpkins and then hot glue them to either end. Listen, you guys, this is something you would see a little bit more in like a high end boutique once we get done with it, I promise. Add in some of those little Dollar Tree styrofoam pieces and I cut mine down to make them into three sections. And then you can really go to town decorating these however you love. So for mine, I decided to add in some of those cute little Dollar Tree sunflower planters. I wanted it to look a little bit transitional because we are transitioning from like um, late summer to early fall right now. So here are those little Dollar Tree. These are so adorable. Okay, so I'm hot gluing them and they have cute little sunflower planters. I actually thought about painting the planter, but once I got done with it, you really couldn't see so much of it. And I'm taking some of these eucalyptus leaves. I grabbed these off of Amazon, detached a bunch of them, and then I'm just poking them into the styrofoam. And you guys can add some moss or truly whatever floats your boat. This is such a fun, easy little craft. And just think about how many ideas you can do with this. And once, um, like the fall season is done, we can even do Christmas. All we'd have to do is like paint over the sign or add in another sign. But I ended up putting this in my entryway table. I thought it looked so super adorable. Is how it turned out. I put it my entryway with this cute little autumn pumpkins pick your own sign. I added some cute little faux pumpkins to the side of it and I put pumpkin spice for life. I just thought it looked so pretty in my entryway table with a little mirror behind it and then a beautiful candle. Fun and fabulous on a total budget. So for this Dollar Tree DIY, I wanted to share with you guys how to make a super adorable little farmhouse chic pumpkin. You're going to take one of the Dollar Tree pumpkins, flip it over, and grab some of that brand new Dollar Tree wallpaper that they're carrying. It looks like like wood farmhouse. It's so cute. Trace out your pumpkin shape and then trim that out. This is such a super easy craft. And honestly, you guys, I feel like it turns out really fun and a little bit more high end. Um, I know that the farmhouse chic style is still so super in or even just neutral if you're wanting to go a little bit neutral. And the best part about this is it's completely removable. So you still have your thankful and blessed pumpkin on one side and then you can do this super cute little kind of like neutral farmhouse chic pumpkin on this side. So once I had it cut out, I am going to tell you a little bit of a trick to getting the wallpaper off, which I didn't know, um, but they have like a little serrated edge right there on the edge of the Dollar Tree wallpaper. So definitely use that. It took me just a sec there to figure that out, but I had to share that with you guys and then just adhere it to your cute little pumpkin. Now, obviously this isn't traditional pumpkin shape form or I mean um, decor color, but I know a lot of you guys are doing this kind of style. So I thought I would share it with you. Dollar Tree also is carrying wooden beads. You guys, I'm so excited to find these. I cannot wait to share with you guys my new Dollar Tree haul. And I'm just going to hot glue around the pumpkin with the cute little bead. I think this really kicks it up a notch and honestly what I was wanting to put in the center of this pumpkin is one of those thankful grateful blessed um, metal word signs I have them in my haul but I cannot find them it's a massive haul and I cannot wait to share it with you guys but it's completely disorganized as you guys can tell but then I'm hot gluing the beads around it and they actually stayed on there really well I trimmed that off and gave it a big dollop of hot glue there and then I'm just adding that raffia back in to really secure that space I did go ahead and take a little bit of dark brown stain and stain the top part of this pumpkin. I really feel like this is something that you would see in a high-end decor store and we did it on such a budget. I mean, literally three bucks and some change. And then if you guys kind of want to go a little bit extra, you could put those metal galvanized words in the center. I think this is fun and fabulous. Let me know what you guys think about it if you love that bit of neutral decor.
for this Dollar Tree DIY, I want to share with you guys how you can jazz up on those Dollar Tree signs. This is Leaves Are Falling, Autumn Is Calling. I love this. Actually, my middle name is Autumn, so I love to share this with you guys. So we're going to make a super cute little bow. Just take some of that Dollar Tree Buffalo Check Plaid Ribbon, loop it over on itself, and really you can get Buffalo Check Plaid Ribbon online, Hobby Lobby, Dollar Tree. Loop it over on itself a couple times, trim that off, and then you can add another ribbon. I chose this cute little smaller pumpkin ribbon from Hobby Lobby. I'm going to pinch it together in the center and add a zip tie. I just think that these are really fun. If you guys have like an Etsy shop or you make wreaths, grab some of these new Dollar Tree signs. They're such a great size for wreath making. Zip tie the center and then fluffy duffy it out and add some goodies. I ended up adding a cute little pumpkin to the base of this and boom so cute adorable and fabulous on a budget check this out leaves are falling autumn is calling I actually have leaves falling on my front porch I'm not sure autumn is quality calling quite yet as it has been a hundred degrees out but I think this is a great little idea on a budget So for this Dollar Tree DIY, I want to show you guys how to make a super easy little tablescape. I'm using some of that Dollar Tree wallpaper and this Dollar Tree sign, and then some of these brand new adorable melamine um, buffalo check plaid plates. Layer everything on top of each other, and then we're going to make a really cute little easy napkin ring. Just hot glue a cute little pumpkin onto this napkin ring, and bam, we have a fun and fabulous little tablescape on a budget. Add in a little Dollar tree dish towel for your napkin or napkins whatever suits your fancy i know my crew can get pretty crazy with their messiness so a dish towel isn't a bad idea for a napkin and it's pretty cute puff that in to your little um, napkin ring and boom here we have that you guys can do an extra step to this which i thought might be a fun idea take one of those dollar tree rope beading pieces make a diy little um a guest um goodie here you could give this to your guest or just make it for decor add one of those cute little pumpkins which i can't wait to share this with you guys on my haul i cannot believe how many amazing goodies dollar tree has out hot glue that pumpkin to the back of the little rope um bead cutie i feel like the dollar tree is actually like watching our diys and like screaming our name please put out these wooden beads that aren't colored and i think they answered the call <laughs> so here is how it turned out i just popped it into the bowl now really i wouldn't put this in the bowl if my guests were actually here but i thought it'd be a cute idea um, for just a decor piece and honestly I realized I had like a lot of like buffalo check plaid going on but it's still super cute I feel like you can really combine patterns and mix things together in fall it's more of a rustic just flea flowing style free flowing style so fun and fabulous on a budget now as always I ask that you guys comment and let me know what was your favorite DIY in this video which one will you be recreating I love to hear what you guys are up to are you finding some of these goodies I I still cannot find those Dollar Tree calendars. I'm really on the lookout, but I love y'all. I thank you for being here. I'm gonna have a cute little cl clip of Benji Bear coming up. And oh my goodness, just uh, so excited for fall. I hope things are cooling off where you're at or if they're not, you're staying cool with some AC, some lemonade, and you're doing some fall crafting with me. <laughs>
little guy, Benji Bear. He wants to say hi to you guys with love and kisses. He's a little bit tuckered out from his walk, but roof, roof, there's Benji Bear. <laughs> So thank you all so much for joining me on another fun and fabulous crafty decor adventure. Now listen, don't forget this is episode one in my I Love Fall series. We are going to craft and decorate our homes on a total budget using Dollar Tree, Hobby Lobby, inexpensive thrift store items. You guys don't want to miss out on that. So subscribe to my YouTube channel. Subscribe, it is totally free. And if you punch the bell and click all, that will update you every single time I upload. Now, hey, go check out my Livy's Romantic Home Facebook page. I share several DIY videos a day over there. And I would just love to have you guys. If you want to binge watch some of my um, crafting videos from last year, I have DIY um, crafting videos that are organized into playlists where it be fall, Halloween, Christmas, spring, Easter, whatever you guys are in the mood for, go pop over there and watch some of those videos. Um, it's just you guys super inspired. I even have a little bit of cleaning and organizing. Not my strong suit, but hey, well, girls got to keep things tidy. Okay, I love y'all to the moon and back. I'm hugging all of your hearts so tight. I'm sending out positive energy, positive vibes, and I've been encouraging you guys on every single video that we've all gone through something in the last couple of years. So if you've gone through something, listen, it's going to get better. I promise you, keep putting one foot in front of the other. And every time you open your eyes, it's a brand new day for God to give you a special gift of life, of joy, to share your smiles, hugs, and love. And also don't forget to be kind online. Um, if you're on your Facebook page and you see somebody post a cute picture of their grandkid, give it a heart. Drop some kind comments down below in this video and other creators' videos. Um, when you put a kind footprint online, that footprint will generally come back to you. And hey, if you see something you don't like, keep on scrolling. So I love y'all. Thank you guys again for being here. Until our next video, remember, be kind to yourselves and be kind to one another. Talk to you guys very soon. Bye-bye.